Hi guys, so I know that I posted a video because I am participating in Project Pan or starting my own because um, it seems like a lot of people are done with theirs. Um, I started it a few days ago and I've already used up a bunch of products that were going to expire or that I hadn't finished and wanted to. Um, so I'm just going to do a video about that really quick. So the first item that I have is this Tresemme anti-breakage split-in shampoo. Um, I finally finished this. These are huge. Um, I get through the conditioners pretty quick. Um, obviously I think a lot of people use more conditioner than they do shampoo. I also don't shampoo every day. Um, so I finally got through this and I'm really proud of myself for that because I used it up all on my own. <laughs> Nobody else helped me. Um, this one I probably did get help with. It was in like um, the shower that I share with my brother and sister. Um, this is a suave almond and shea butter shampoo. Wait, no, this is the conditioner. The shampoo I'm still using, but I finished the conditioner. Um, it's moisturizing for dry or damaged hair, salon proven to moisturize as well as a beta. Um, this is okay. It smelled really, really good, so that's the only reason I would repurchase this. I think that for suave, um, all of their products are basically the same thing, except they all smell different. Um, I do like their professionals line. This is what it looks like. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, I, I would use it again. I use their Rosemary Mint um, shampoo and conditioner a lot just because I really like the smell. And that one I feel like actually does something and it's cheap. So if you are low on money and are like at Target or something, just pick a couple of these up. Um, they do their job um, and they're okay. Another item that I used up, I know it looks like I still have a little bit in it, but it's um, water, is this Philosophy Pure Grace. I don't really like Philosophy products that much. I think they're really hyped up. Um, they don't feel very luxurious to me. Um, they don't smell that great to me. Um, we have a lot of them hanging around my house. I don't know. I don't really like them. My sister has the perfume of this. It just it doesn't smell that great to me. This um, The Grace line, like Amazing Grace. Pure Grace, all that stuff. It smells weird. Um, I'm trying to work on that I've had for a while. A um, gingerbread boy and girl body washes. They take forever for me to use because I don't really like them. Um, those were Christmas gifts. I will say that I do like the smell of gingerbread boy, so scratch that. It smells like ginger ale and I really like that. But um, I, get, I just don't like things that smell like cookies and cake and candy. I like clean smells or fruity smells. So this is, this was a gift um, for Christmas. I probably wouldn't ever buy it for myself, but I finally got through it. It took me about five months, but I got through it. Another item that I used up that I got was an Amazing Grace shower gel. Oh, um, yep, I used that. Um, Another item that was the same size that I used up was, I think it's called, uh, it was the Purity, it was a tester of the um, cleanser. Really, like this was okay, um, I used it, it was fine, body wash really is body wash, um, it was okay. I hated the Purity cleanser, it made my face sting, I was probably allergic to it, I used it, but it just, it just wasn't really that great. Um, I'm really picky about my face washes and I just didn't like it so there we go with that one. I finished up my Fine Style Pantene heat protection spray. This is like the second or third one of these that I bought. I'm using a Tresemme one now um, and that one will probably be going into my Project Pan bag. Um, this one was okay. Um, I liked it because it was cheap. I liked it because it did what it said it was going to do. Um, the only problem is, is that it's like impossible to control. So if you like spraying it on your head and it's going everywhere, it's crazy. Um, I'm like dropping it. Um, so I don't know. Sounds like I've got a little bit left. I really don't know. It's like nothing's coming out of it. Um, so yeah. Uh, maybe after I finish the Tresemme one, I'll go back to this one. I am using some sort of um, like generic Moroccan oil stuff too as a heat protectant. 
So, um, yeah. <coughs> Another project pan item that I've had for a while that I used up was the Harajuku Lovers Love perfume. I've got like the littlest bit at the bottom, but it's just not coming out. It's so frustrating. I'm like, no. You know how you like spray it on yourself and all you can, you can smell it, but you can't like feel it go on you. Ooh, hey, just got a little bit. Okay. Um, really like this. I maybe repurchased this. It was on my Christmas list because I really liked the smell of it. Um, it's just really frustrating that there's like the tiniest bit at the bottom and I can't really get it out. I have to like take this apart, but I don't want to like break it. But yeah, I might have to call this done. Alright, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six items that I've used up. I'm really close to finishing a Nivea chapstick as well. And I'm probably going to be doing maybe weekly, bi-weekly, monthly um, updates of things that I have finished. So, yep. Yeah, I think that's it. So thanks for watching, and I hope that you are doing pretty well in your project plan as well. Alright, bye.